Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace, back again with another video disc ads video. Last time around I concentrated on the Laserdisc format, this time around the DVD format. I'm going to begin with a Spaghetti Western from Something Weird video called $100,000 for Ringo. Now this is a fairly violent Western, even by Spaghetti Western standards. This was a co-production in Spain and Italy and was released theatrically in 1966. This is a version that has been dubbed into English. Now, Something Weird Video generally does a good job with the back of their cases. They give you a screenshot, they tell you the director, they list the cast, and they give you a fairly in-depth synopsis of the plot and sometimes a review. Not always a positive one. You even go the extra mile and tell you who did the synopsis, who wrote it. Now, something that uh, Sinister Cinema and Something Weird Video both do that I like is that they will generally tell you the original source material 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter, etc. Something Weird Video likes to add some flavor to theirs. For example, with this one, it says, from a 16 millimeter, maybe Ringo's hiding behind the rocks negative. This is release 36683. It stars Richard Harrison and some others. Okay, a B Western from Sinister Cinema. This stars Harry Carey, obviously, and is Aces Wild. Now, Sinister Cinema just gives you a generic blurb on the back of their cases and they don't list the catalog number on the cases or on the discs but they do in their print catalogs and online so yes I've gotten all that information and I have an index card for each video as many of you already know and so I've got that information I just didn't pull those cards for this video I'm also busy uh, ordering VHS versions of their releases as many as I can while they're still offering VHS as an option. Now as of last year, well, up till last year, they had separate sections in their print catalog for B Westerns and Euro Westerns. It had about uh, 850 B Westerns and 200 to 250 Euro Westerns. Well, last year they combined those two sections to make one massive Western section, and they lowered the price on all of their Westerns to one price, and that is 8.95. Ace is wild. I will be doing a video on the VHS ads from Sinister Cinema that I've been amassing. Okay, from Sinister Cinema, another B Western. This one stars Jack Randall, Across the Plains. Generic message on the back. Something they do that I like is um, all these things, shipping or whatever you call it. They include one in each case. I presume it's to keep the cases from becoming crushed during shipment. I know that I have never received a crushed one from Sinister Cinema, so I keep them there. I have received crushed cases from Something Weird Video, but they've replaced them and uh, they've asked me uh, to indicate when I place an order please place an extra secure packaging to prevent crushing because uh, I have more of a problem around here than they seem to have nationally. But anyway, they've been good about uh, handling that. Okay, from Sinister Cinema in their Action Adventure section, no surprise there, as the film is called, Adventure Island. I don't like the designs where they use a strip to simulate a film strip, but that's just me. 
or maybe it's not just me. Now I have other releases from Warner Home Video that are part of this. I don't know if you can call it a series, but action double feature. I have other action double features from Warner Home Video. This includes the films American Flyers and Victory. Now, Victory is not supposed to be all that good. It's only cost me five dollars. It looks a million. However, Victory was directed by John Huston, and the cast features Sylvester Stallone, Michael Caine, Max von Sydow, and Pele. Now, American Flyers was directed by John Badham and features in the cast Kevin Costner and Ray Don Chong. Anyway, this is Warner Home Video Release 72271. Okay, from Something Weird Video, and be Western from them. The Adventures of the Masked Phantom. This was meant to be well, the first entry in a proposed series of westerns. Turned out it was the last one in a proposed series of B westerns. From 1939, Black and White, directed by Charles Abbott. With Monty Rollins, Betty Burgess, Larry Mason, and um, Sonny Lamont. I'm not going to tell you which one, but I have an uncle with the exact name of one of the cast members. Okay, this is uh, release 37642. Reach for the sky. Something actually said in the movie. Okay, from Something Weird Video. Alibaba and the Sacred, Qu Sacred Crown. Okay, I suppose they sell these in stores. This is for the barcode information would go, but I never see barcode information there. Okay, this is release 36045. And no, this isn't the same film. From Something Weird Video, Alibaba and the Seven Sacraments. I believe this one is carried by Sinister Cinema. I'd be interested in uh, getting their copy and seeing if there are any differences. Because there are a number of releases from Sinister Cinema where they have the longest known print in existence. Usually horror titles, but not restricted to that. Okay, this is release. 36046, originally released 1963. Okay, this is from Sinister Cinema. This is a brand new release in widescreen from a 35 millimeter print, and it's beautiful. I've checked. Alone Against Rome. What's interesting about this film is it's an Italian film dubbed into English, but the print that they used has the credits in German. So go figure. As I said, this is a brand new offering from Sinister Cinema, at least in widescreen. I don't know if they offered it in its game before, but it is beautiful. And the parts I checked did not have the um, Sinister Cinema watermark. In fact, I haven't been seeing their watermark of late. 
on their VHS releases for sure. So, okay, again, I'm stuck in a rut here, but bear with me. From something weird video. The Amazing Mr. X. Yes, I order a lot from Something Weird Video and Sinister Cinema. So sue me. Okay, this is from 1948. The only uh, name I recognize is um, Richard Carlson. Apparently this film is also known as The Spiritualist. This is release 35306. Okay, from Mill Creek Entertainment. I believe this is a made-for-video series and not a TV series, but it's a documentary series entitled The Amazing World of Dinosaurs. Two discs. Each disc contains three episodes, or three programs, as it mentions on the back, you know, on the discs. They don't mention episodes, as they programs. Mill Creek doesn't use catalog numbers, so. Okay, bear with me. From something weird video. Avenger of the Seven Seas. Starring Richard Harrison. Yes, even though I'm dyslexic, I can read. Just sometimes I have trouble. Okay, from 1963. Uh, this is release 36047. Okay, from Sinister Cinema. This film is known by an alternate title. It's a war epic entitled The Battle of Austerlitz. It is also known simply as Austerlitz. This uh, tells the tale of one of the most famous of the Napoleonic War battles. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Now, this one I had to order simply because of the title. I'll have to wait and see if it's any good. But it's from Something Weird Video. Be beautiful, but shut up. Don't know who came up with that title, but I love it. Reminds me of that uh, film that I have on Video 2000 with the title, um, Die Slowly, You'll Enjoy It More. Be beautiful, but shut up. Okay, now I mentioned in the previous video that I'm a Hardy Kruger fan and that I am attempting to get the Hardy Kruger films that I am missing in my collection. This is one of them. This, this is a British film although Hardy Kruger is a German actor. This is a British DVD release of Blind Date, also known as Chance Meeting. I know because it says so right there. This is released from Renown Pictures Limited. Place one three two nine zero two. Join the renowned, renowned. I guess I should pronounce it. B movie fan club. <clears throat> I do give a website, so I have to look at that. Pal standard, but region zero. <clears throat> Okay, Bernraki. I'm gonna have to wrap it up because my voice is going south on me.
this is um, Arc Entertainment Release 82348. I do want to get to these though. I love her. Ever since I first saw her on BBC America with her series. And then I saw her added to um, Doctor Who as one of the Doctor's companions. Made in the UK, I've already guessed where I'm going. This is the Catherine Tate Show, Series 1. This is a US release. Strangely, BBC America did not begin with Series 1, they began with Series 2. Now, Series 2 and Series 3 do have a different opening than Series 1, but it's still all good. This is from Standing Room Only, which is a label of Couture. She seemed to burst, be, just come out of nowhere, but she is really awesome. I love Catherine Tate. This is release D. 4266. And as I understand it, Am I Bothered became a catchphrase in the UK after this era. Okay, this is the Catherine Tate Show Series 2, again from Standing Room Only. And yes, those are her boobs. She's just wearing a push-up bra. I can't remember where I read that, but... As I said, this is Series 2. This is where BBC America started. And yes, she even plays a guy. Derek Fay. This is release D4267. Okay, this is Catherine Tate Show Series 3. This is a UK release. However, there have been a number of specials, such as the Catherine Tate Christmas Show. I should have stated before that that Series 3 was the last series, although fans have been clamoring for more. She stated that they simply ran a good uh, material, and they didn't want to do bad material. This is a standing room only, release D4265. And I'll combine these two because my throat is really going. Doctor Who. This is Series 2, Part 1. Yes, it does include a free wristband. My wife called me um, before she bought these because she was concerned that um, we would have most of these episodes already, but we only had one, which was the Christmas in Invasion. This is Series 2, Part 2. Of course, they re redid the series numbers uh, when they brought the series back. This is David Tennant and Billy Piper. One of the more popular of the Doctor Who companions, although I would rate her just below Catherine Tate because I like the character of Donna Noble. I don't like Catherine Tate. Oh, I guess you want to see the wristband. Elanzi. This is a US release, so I don't know if they had a UK release. 
that included the wristband. Both of these include the same feature, special feature, added feature, Doctor Who A New Dimension. Newly produced, look back at the making of these breathtaking episodes. The same on both. Okay, until next time, stay awesome. This as many as I can while they're still offering VHS as an option. Now, as of last year, well, up till last year, they had separate sections in their print catalog for the Westerns and Euro Westerns. They had about uh, 850 B Westerns and 200 to 250 Euro Westerns. Well, last year they combined those two sections to make one massive West. Hello, YouTubers. This is Cessna Ace back again with another video disc ads video. Last time around, I concentrated on the Laserdisc format. This time around, the DVD format. I'm going to begin with a Spaghetti Western from Something Weird video called $100,000 for Ringo. Now, this is a fairly violent Western, even by Spaghetti Western standards. This was a co-production in Spain and Italy and was released theatrically in 1966. This is a version that has been dubbed into English. Now, Something Weird Video generally does a good job with the back of their cases. They give you a screenshot, they tell you the director, they list the cast, and they give you a fairly in-depth synopsis of the plot, and sometimes a review. Not always a positive one. They even go the extra mile and tell you who did the synopsis, who wrote it. Now, something that uh, Sinister Cinema and Something Weird Video both do that I like is that they will generally tell you the original source material, 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter, etc. Something Weird Video likes to add some flavor to theirs. For example, with this one, it says, From a 16 millimeter, maybe Ringo's hiding behind the rocks negative. This is release 36683. Stars Richard Harrison and some others. Okay, a B Western from Sinister Cinema. This stars Harry Carey, obviously, and is Ace's Wild. Now, Sinister Cinema just gives you a generic blurb on the back of their cases, and they don't list the catalog number on the cases or on the discs, but they do in their print catalogs and online. So yes, I've gotten all that information, and I have an index card for each video, as many of you already know. And so I've got that information. I just didn't pull those cards for this video. I'm also busy uh, ordering VHS versions of their releases.